Hey boys, I'm Lu Yao Ling. You want to see the latest uh, Jack Deck? Well, come closer. Come. Psych! Psych! Gotcha! Gotcha, brother! <laughs> We're playing an evil deck, of course! Of course! <laughs> We're playing an evil deck today. So I actually started off as an experiment, I want to create a good Muya Ling deck and I lost so much trying to create that weird janky deck and then I just realized Muya Ling fits so good into a control shell deck like Esper Control for instance Esper Control is already good, but it becomes even better with Muya Ling Why does it become even better? Because now we can actually close out games fast with Muya Ling Muya Ling is like... It's like a Sorkin, it's like the 5 mana Sorkin in this deck but even better because it because it comes down on turn 3, so you don't have to, uh, you know, wait till turn 5 until you get all that goodness. So, she's good with a couple of cards in this deck, I would say. She's good with Oath of Kaya, because it makes it so that she they can often not kill Mu Yanling, but they can attack into her. You won't get the 4-4 four, four Elemental Burr, but when you keep losing life, and you will keep gaining life whenever they attack in, which is pretty good. So it doesn't matter if you don't get the Elemental Burr off, which is so darn good. Uh, then she's also amazing, of course, with Oath of Teferi, which, I mean, all Planeswalkers are amazing. <laughs> Oath of Teferi. But especially Mu Ling, and especially since we also run Oath of Kaya. And Mu Ling makes it so that we can actually close out games pretty quickly once we establish, you know, complete board dominance. Uh, we can just start spewing out elemental birds, or if we're up against control deck, we can get an emblem with islands you control have draw a card, which usually ends the games pretty quickly, which I do like. And also we have the post deploy. Uh, which is an amazingly good card right now. There's so many things which get countered uh, and it's so good to be able to protect your planeswalkers with the pose where you can just draw a card and then at some point you just, you know, sweep up with Kai's Wrath. Because often in the early game, all you want to do is just buy some time until you can Kai's Wrath. Usually, that's, that's what happens. And then you have the deploy side for when you want to go aggressive. So you can go aggressive with the deploy side, you can go aggressive with Muyan Ling and you can also start bouncing your Oath of Kaya with Teferi or with Kalos' Missile. That is pretty much deck. Let's jump into it. TB from SD. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Feel like a captain. Feel like Captain Morgan. Uh, Malice, you say. Malice. <laughs> Quite amazing. <sighs> I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Triple drop cargo planes. Ah. <sighs> All my Dragon Catacombs and the only planes in the deck. <laughs> the only combination which doesn't work. It's fine. I don't mind. Probably gonna be a lot of control matchups. Usually when you play control, you match against control. Which is, of course is an amazing thing. I love. <laughs> which I've never complained about ever. <laughs> Not a single time. Lotus Field, okay. I, uh, getting a... Uh, and spicy over here, huh? Ooh. But I'm the Nazet. And the Minus. Ooh. Oath of Teferi could be pretty sweet, wasn't it? I need a double activation in the station. But we don't have the big Teferi. <laughs> to work with the Oath of Teferi, but... We'll see. Should probably get there, hopefully. Okay, for the Manas. Big Papa dude coming down now. Okay. Yeah, he's not drawing any cards, so that's good. Well... <laughs> he didn't draw any cards, and then a bounce his treasure. He's gonna be so sad! Right You're playing Esper Control! Everyone's gonna hate <laughs> this episode because I played this card. I think. Oh, he should have sacrificed it in response, now that I think about it. Because then I wouldn't have drawn a card. Uh... I, I probably wouldn't have thought of that either. So. Thought Erasure could be a pretty useful card, I think. Discard a card. Do we need all these Kai's Rats? Probably not. But I will see. Oh no. <laughs> we spent this turn creating one treasure! <laughs> we need this guy. I mean, I know it's too late, but... <laughs> wow! But still. Well, worked out for him. Got the Sarkin. Got the Masterless Sarkin. Not amazing versus all these Catalysis missiles, one could say, but... No. You know what you're gonna do? I mean, he has to go for the minus. Would be a complete mad lad. He goes for the plus anyways. 
Doesn't even care. Door. Well, we'll balance you then. Back to the hand. And the thought rage. Probably. Let's see what it has then. Wow. Niv misset Parun. Clear the mind. Mastermind's acquisition. Wow, all these cards are very, very scary, I must say. Hmm. Very, very scary. Is it Mastermind's Undertaker? Yeah, I think so. I mean, if he draws a land, he can play the Sarkon, but if he doesn't draw a land, he can't play the Sarkon. That way. And, uh, yeah, plus you. Oh, I should probably thought to register him during his draw phase now that I think about it. That better. <laughs> That's probably much better. Probably much better. Okay. A dragon. A dorgon. You have the dorgon. Mm. Okay. What we can do now? We can callous dismiss this guy. Let's see. We can move Yon Ling. Bring it down. On the ground. Wink, wink. Bring you down. And then we can... Callus dismisses his Sarkon when he comes in for the attacks. That could be pretty sweet. The Niv Mist could also be quite dangerous. Think about it. Quite dangerous. Well, we can sweep the board though. That is a, that is a possibility with the Azrath. What will he do? We will plus Sarkon. You will play Niv Misset Parun. Has to be. Each planeswalker you control becomes a red. Yep, that's fine. And then it goes in. Or Teferuns. N not with this dragon. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I think I just bounce it. Get it bounce. Sarkon again, and minuses. Cool. Yep. <laughs> Magnificent. Magnificent. So here then, here I can Oath of Teferi. Let's see here. Probably want to minus this guy. <laughs> One of the dragons. Uh, or I can just cast Wrath it. Yes. Plus you, and cast Wrath during his turn. Don't worry, I got this. And Mu Yan Ling. Could create a elemental, but <laughs> this we're gonna sweep anyways. Uh yeah. Just pass. Pass and see what he does. See what he does. Probably goes in with Sarkon. Then we sweep the board. Then he plays Niv Misset. Then we bounce it with the fairy. That's amazing! <laughs> <laughs> that is truly amazing. Man, I'm playing Esper <laughs> with Mu Yan Ling. Okay. Sure. That's fine. And then? Goes in with Sarkon. No, he goes into his attackers. He doesn't want to risk it, I guess. In case I have something. Something dangerous. Okay. There and there. Uh, yep, that's right. Pink. And okay, why didn't he use his sark in there? Now he uses it just to gain some loyalty. No. Okay. Might demands power. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why that's why he did that in that exact order, but sure. Okay, so this is a 4-4, four, four. so if we create a elemental, we could also go for the minus again. And we could protect it, because then we could get the ultimate. But we don't have a single island! We don't have a single island, that's so bad! <laughs> okay, sure. Um, now I should do this correctly. Doing a draw step is what I should do this. Uh, we plus you. I am not and this let's see here. You create the elemental? Yeah, probably. Then he can't attack him. 
And past her. Past the turn. Uh, now let's see here. I have to pass this, right? And now with alteration. Uh, Niv missed. That goes away. And this goes away. Yep. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> it's like we have a better Sarkhan with Moon Yan Ling. Sarkhan which costs 3 is what it feels like. Okay. For sure. And clears the mine. Amazing. Well. <laughs> okay. Comes a 4 4. Any attacks? Muyan Ling? Probably. Let's see. <laughs> Not passing priorities. So. Take a while. In goes one. Mrs. Mu. Mmm. Ban Sarkhan. He has to play it again. Comes into play with poor loyalty, I think, anyway, so. Might as well bounce out. Could have bounced Mu Yan Ling also. But nah. Better. <laughs> Wait, that one one. And yeah, get the Chaos Wrath. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Create another elemental, but I think just going for this is fine. And then we Oath of Teferi our Narset. Narset. This was overwhelming. And then we can do this again. Ah, then we can create an elemental. That's for sure. And we can plus you. <laughs> Here we go. And do we minus? Do we minus an Oath of Teferi? <laughs> ah, I just plus him again. Let's have seven loyalty like on him. Because why not? <laughs> it's going pretty well! Yes, I know this is a very good deck. <laughs> it's a very good deck. Probably not super popular by the masses. <laughs> it's gonna be... Why do you play Esper? No, it's just gonna be 50 downloads. <laughs> I hate Esper. I know. <laughs> I know you do. Okay, no to speed. That Sarkhan is not coming in though. And he knew. Well... Plus you, with no target. We can be creating an arm here. Quite quickly. Minus you. Ooh, got the runes. Well, uh, this might be where he scoops. <laughs> might be. We'll see though. Quite likely. i put that though from the top. Reverse! And plus you. You know what? I'm not done yet. Oh, the post deployer. Eat and minus. Keep an open mind. Alteration. Sure. <laughs> Stop there. Uh, go in. Uh, keep plusing this guy. Hope it doesn't have uh, <laughs> the elder spell, because that will be quite dangerous for us. On his turn, he draws a card, and with alteration, whatever it is. Uh, the post deploy, we do not need another one. <laughs> it's looking pretty grim for him, but it's still sticking in there. I do admire his tenacity. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to call it. I don't know. I don't know English that well. I'm able to express myself. But uh, yeah, we got him. <laughs> got him pretty good. Doesn't feel as good when you win with this deck as when you win with my janky shit. <laughs> This just feels obvious. It's like, yeah, of course you win. <laughs> you play a very good Keep deck. Up the pace. Um, can you get the mythic with this? Oh, yeah, you I've can get the mythic the with this. <laughs> that will probably not be a problem. Uh, mid zero. The sky is my domain. Zero. Do we return the oath of the fairy? Uh. Probably. <laughs> Bounce Narset again. We have so many things we can do. <laughs> Let's try this. Uh, you there. You go away. I won't forget our time together. Forget our time together. Good. 
Don't do it. Don't forget our time. Untap two lands, now, sure. I understand. Untap two lands, sure. <laughs> yeah, this deck is a little bit silly. Kai's Kai around, sure. Sure. And then we deploy. Deploy! Drink. Yep. My turn. Got him. Go away. Smack him. Got him, got him! Easy! Zubzil will be our next opponent. <laughs> yeah. The, the weird thing is I like th this type of deck playing it. <laughs> yes, you win a lot. That's one, that's one part of it. But also, I like playing control decks. <laughs> Where you're not screwed when you're out of creatures. Okay, okay. Well, that... Then comes the question, do we Thought Erasure or do we Callus dismiss the Pelt Blight? I probably Thought Erasure, but... I'd rise to it, okay. If we could snag a Nissa here, that would be very, very good for us, as far as I say. Um, mm, yeah, Nissa is biggest concern right now. Carnage Titan... Also a little bit concerning, I guess. All also. He's quite far off playing that Carnage Titan though. He's three mana now. Four. Probably find some way to deal with it before. Probably take the Barkai Troll. Uh, yeah, we need balance. And then. Murfolk Branchwalker. Going for four, play Murfolk Branchwalker. We're gonna open Kayan, which should be pretty good. Finds a forest. Sure. Mm, here we have to kill the Elt Collector. I think. Dunk. Go up to 15. Then we could actually deploy and kill both of these. When we have to be amazing. If he hits two lands here, that could be quite ideal for us, really. Not. Okay, no, did not. Did not, did not, sure. Okay, we'll probably play the Carnage Titan, though. Hmm. So what do we do? We could also Callous Dismiss. Could double Cal- Ah, double Callous Dismiss is not amazing. Ugh. We could tap down. Mm -hmm, that's not amazing either. What do we do, then? So many dudes. We could have just Kyle's Wrath there. We would. Uh, that would be so easy. Be so darn easy. So, what do we do? Do we a Fairy Time La Raveler? Bounce the. Let's see here. Four, five, six. We know there's a Galt on top, so if we bounce the Druid, we can't play the Carnage Titan. Uh, yeah, that's probably what we should do, I think. Take a lot of damage from this. Oh, the damage! Might be a bad idea. Hmm, and we need that. <laughs> need that Kaya's Wrath. And we need it quickly! Oh, we might fall in the second game here. That's very quick. I thought we'd, uh, thought we'd maybe go undefeated with this deck. <laughs> That's how cocky I am with this deck. Yep. Okay. Four. Yeah, those in there. Lose a little bit of life. But we are alive for one more turn. And Galta. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we need to deal with that. And Callus dismiss it for the time being. Gives us a blocker also. Sweet. And then we can start searching for the board sweeps here. My news. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> well, I guess the fairy. Yes. We can bounce this guy one more time. You're taking a lot of damage here. A lot, lot of damage. I don't think he wants me to dig one more time to have a chance to find Kyle's right there. Will he go for Narset though? That's the question. And what will he go for Narset with? Those two. Okay. 
and those two go face. Well, we can kill off the Paradise Druid. And North goes down to one. And we take a little bit of damage. Yep, sure. Down to seven. Fury will only Ooh. Oh, and there it is. There it is. <laughs> but if he draws something here. We're still <laughs> we're still Scrooge versus Carl Giant. He draws land. Oh, land into land is what he needs to draw. That is a little bit difficult. Draw land into land. He might do it, but he also might not do it. Okay, null hide the fair rocks. That we can deal with. That we can deal with. Uh, so let's see here. Put down you. Pay the two manas. Yes. Thank me later. And bounce him. Bounce him. He drowned Kaliko. We need to find one more guy's breath. That's <laughs> what we need. Uh, yeah, pass turn. Probably just plays again. Five manas. Ah, Nissa! Mm, that's a good one. That's a good hit. <laughs> that's the thing I was most afraid of. Yep. We can, though, depose it. Tap it. Tap that creature. Draw card. Ooh, now we can put it away, even. Now we can put the Nissa away. Third, this though. Might be a bad idea. It would be so nice if we could bo do both Teferi. Hmm. Unfortunately, Kalos' missile can't bounce the forest. Else, that would have been amazing right now. I'll also kill the forest and bounce the Nissa. So we can't play it again. That's probably pretty good. Yeah, do this. Bounce the Nissa and hope it doesn't draw another. Then, well, it's fine if it draws a land, but we hope it doesn't. Oh, we do it. God darn you! <laughs> okay, sure. Fine. Yep. And he goes in. He just goes face. Uh. Well, if he just goes face, uh, I think I just say no blocks here also. I think I just say no blocks. Mm. I think we put away the Nissa here. Put away the Nissa and then we block 3 3 when it comes in. I think that's the play. Minus 3 puts you away. much more malleable than people think. And then we plus this dude. I've got it. Ah, uh, no attacks. Man, if we had one more land there, we'd be able to kill the forest. That would be much, much safer. Because now if he draws a land, yep, he plays Carnage Titan. And that's a little bit worrying. Little bit worrying. Goes in for Teferi. Block them. Wimp. Will we? <laughs> Will we prevail against this? Will we survive? Oh, and now we just have the nut draw. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my freaking god, that's so good. <laughs> that's amazing. It's honestly quite amazing. And then plus. No time for a break. Got him. Got him, got him! <laughs> Evil has won. <laughs> Yes, you go first. That is fine, man. That probably work. We'll see. Reman, it's not super good drawing in double move. I think we can. Don't have a two drop also. That's hmm, a little bit. I have a lot of two drops in this deck, and that's kind of a reason why I like this version so much because having two drops is very good. There's very few two drops that are really good right now in standard. I feel like. Very, very few. Okay, Legion's landing. Mono white. Is that it? Mm. I think we tap that down. I will see. See what he plays here. If he plays anything. Goes in first. 
Even Lieutenant. Well, that. Weak. The card. Hmm. Well, should we Mu Yan Ling here? Probably should, right? Mu Yan Ling on this. They can attack it once, but. And very soon we'll be able to. Uh, to cast Wrath. I should have played my lands also in a different order so I could have cast Wrath next turn if I wanted to. Mm, which one? I don't think it matters. I don't think he's gonna get flying also, anyways. Mu Yan Ling getting in there. I was kind of forced to attack into Mu Yan also. Saving a little bit of life points. That is, uh, that is dangerous though. Uh, and Conquistador. Oof. That's a lot of power. A lot of power on the board. Yep. Goes in there. Smack a rune. Well, next turn we can sweep at least. That's good. We are gonna lo lose one Mu, but we have another Mu, so. Maybe not the most dangerous thing to have happen to us. I think we just go for Narsa there. Also, forcing him to attack a lot into our planeswalkers. And this can just place itself, hopefully. Mm. Do we need double Kai's Wrath? Or do we pick up Teferi here? Or even both of Teferi? Man, so many good options! What do we take here? I think we want small Teferi after we cast Wrath. Probably. Hey, I pick it up. Maybe I should have taken the cast Wrath. Maybe I'm a scrub, I don't know. <laughs> Might be the case that I'm a scrub, we'll see. Does he have enough power to kill both of them though? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, now I don't regret picking this up though. Not at all. Will he go for all my planeswalkers? Might. He probably should do that. Doesn't know about the cars, right? Okay, hey, one there. Bring it her down a little. No. Okay. No. Oh. Face with that. Move on lane there. Uh, face with that and move on lane. Okay. Move on lane is the one who has to die. And flips the landing also, unfortunately. Unfortunately, yes. was a disappointment. Okay. I think that's telling me that it doesn't have any card draw, probably. Mm, well, we'll see. This lands. Oh, does he now have the uh, indestructibility? Is that his last card? I would have been pretty... Oh, he didn't even use the ability! Why? I didn't oh, think about it, man. Oh, take the big pop of the fear, no? And pass turn. I think we're in pretty good shape. Pretty good shape. Man, Chaos Wrath is still so good. <laughs> Such a good card. And now I'm so happy I picked this up also. So, oh, so happy. And then we draw... Just draw amazing card after amazing card. That's fine. That's fine, of course. <laughs> what am I talking about? What am I talking about? Trust I'm talking me. nonsense. Thank me later. You'll thank me later. Oh, well, we'll see. We'll see about that. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tapped. And um, yep. That's the best. Bash or the bash. Untap. Wink, wink. Now we're in a pretty good spot. One might say we might be favored to win even. From this position. Last card? Nothing. Probably not. Seems a little bit flooded, doesn't he? Uh, a bit. No more games. Goes in for the Tefer Oons. Then we had the Moo. Moo. The Moon Yan Ling. I'll put a stop here. Do a little bit of water rage. No, no, we don't have it. Here it goes. Sure. Chose me another one. <laughs> That's good. Oh, both of them out. I can bounce one of them. One of them minus. Perfect. You there, you get minus. Man, if this <laughs> guy runs the other spell and gets me, that would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. I mean, it's fine if someone beats me now that I play as. 
it's fine. <laughs> I don't mind if they beat you. <laughs> That's the thing. That's a good thing. Hurry. Draw a card. Uh, this. Some lands. And untap to the door. Yeah, you seem a little bit uh, done for in this game, what I would say. Vampires! It's now a 0 2! <laughs> Upgraded. Every day I'm up a grading them. Does he have the make indestructible spell? Could have it. Don't worry, I got this. But then again, probably not. Uh, draw another card. To move, to move quickly. So darn quickly. Well. My news. Mm, we're gonna untap anyway, so we might as well play this, I guess. I have practiced against and nice. the thoughtfulness before action. <laughs> do we now? <laughs> do we not do this? Feels so evil doing this, but sure. Uh yeah, I'm past turn. Untap two, yep. We can Kai's Wrath him. Which we probably should do. We probably should do that. I you probably concede. Yep. When I do it. I don't know exactly why he wants this during his main phase also. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I feel like such a... What's it called in uh, English? Smartest? Swedish is best of so. <laughs> <laughs> That's very much from German. Just copy paste. It. We didn't even care making it in Swedish. <laughs> we didn't even care. Uh, yeah, now we can just start using elementals, I think. And plus you. Let's skip to the good part. And put a stop here. And minus you. Uh, sure, callous. Plus you. Nothing. This down. And yeah, pass turn. Untap this. Met. And he draws a card. And we thought erasure it. Thought erasure you, Mr. Ryman. Mr. Ryman. Yep, cast it down. Sure. Deploy in response! Doesn't do anything, you say. Well, it creates two one ones. And I like doing things in response! <laughs> show my opponents they simply had no chance. They had no chance. And I want to show them. Isn't this a little bit wasteful, you ask? No! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> the evil! Thought that was me. <laughs> the time. <laughs> Excuse me, Arena. There's a bug. <laughs> I should be the evil. Keep this. <laughs> if you're running it, what deck could you get the mythic with this? Uh, like, yeah, this probably. <laughs> the only problem with this deck is that it's probably gonna be slow because every game takes like ten minutes. But yes. Probably not a problem to get to Mythic with this. Now we're up against Mono Blue, though. Which might be our most difficult matchup. We'll see. But he just went Trickster like a scrub. Which means we can do this. Why did he do main phase Trickster? That made no sense. That just made no sense. At all! <laughs> Simply no sense. So what's you gonna do now? Are you gonna wait with your Murphle Trickster? I miss... Yes, he might, but... Too much. Yep. Uh, that's down on the ground. Sure is down on that there ground. Uh, I think we just go to Kaya. Ask this guy. Go to Kaya. Plus you. I don't get why he played this main phase. If he wouldn't have a... Well, I would have still played it. Fair. He might not have counters, but that might be right. Mono blue without counters? Could be. Probably isn't, but could be. 
It's so sad when they have the main face playing their creature card. Yep. I'm sorry, buddy, but... Yeah. <laughs> it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. Um, let's see here. Yeah, plus this guy. No, I am not making this up as I go. We can callous dismiss the Murphy trickster. Can't attack in and kill her to very. That would be way too good. Uh, and then we just thought the regime. Oh, I should have done that during his draw phase. Yeah. There's obsession. Sleep. <laughs> uh, let's see here. We have three loyalty on this guy. So it doesn't matter if he does that. He has dive down, which he can't use. Um, yes, we take sleep. <laughs> Is that weird? A little bit weird. Uh, we want the land, so. Yep. Put it there. We want a land. Main. F <laughs> He's just playing bears. <laughs> like tricks to me. Sure. And then he goes in with a trickster. Yep. Smack him a little bit. Wink. Wink, wink. So now we know what he has. Now we just need to not be complete scrubs. <laughs> Which is difficult, I know. Especially for me. Uh, plus you. Oh, I've done the hero thing. Uh, okay, so if we play Narset and tap down the trickster. Doesn't have enough sorceries to take this, not by a long shot. Uh, so this should be good. Put you down. My news. Ooh, that's a Kaya's Wrath. And a Mui only. Both which are amazing here. What do we take? I think we just take the Kaya's Wrath. It's a simple solution. Uh, go here and pass turn. And see what he's up to. He will want to go into his attackers, and then we just depose the Murphy Trickster. And then he has one damage, which can deal to Narset if he so desires. But I think he's pretty done for. I mean, if they let you result if you're a Time Raveler, it's just so over for them. <laughs> so damn over. Oh, <laughs> this is not the episode of like. Oh, we had a little bit of a comeback versus the green deck, but it's mostly like me crushing things. <laughs> What it's been so far. <laughs> Should this be how Esper crushes the dreams of <laughs> people who want to play other decks? <laughs> Could be a good title. Um, a little bit slow, still not no two drops here. Which might punish us. This might be a losing hand, weirdly enough, even though we have such good planeswalkers. Um, uh, we don't have a two drop, and that's mm, bad. But I don't want to mulligan this. I mean. What if we draw an even worse hand? That could be problematic for us. So, Robert Knight then. What will he be playing? Will he be... We haven't played against Asper Control yet. I haven't played against Scenic Flash either. And Mono Red. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah, this is slow for Mono Red. This might be where we fall, honestly. We don't have any life gain in this hand, and we don't have any 2 drop. We'll see. Motivator is a little bit slow, though. Luckily. Yep. One. Draw two drop. Two drop, two drop, two drop. Oh, that's another good card, though. I sh will not complain about it. We don't have the mana for it, fortunately. Oh, put you down. Put you down. Did he really not do anything during his turn, too? That was a little bit weird. Is this a goblin deck? What is this? Might be. Wow! And nothing there either. I think I don't put down the Interplanar Beacon because I might want to Kai's Wrath next turn. I might draw into a Black Source. Is this where we go Mu Yan Ling? I think this is perfect Mu Yan Ling moment. I mean, she might just get burned there, but I'll at least try. Sky is my domain. What is he playing? Is this goblins? Did we just kill with the goblins? <laughs> with Esper control. Yeah, okay, Legion War Boss. Sure. Mm -hmm. 
and gives it haste. Ooh, that, that's a quite spicy. Oh, yeah. This little thing right here, I, I do like. The Legion War Boss into this. Killing off my Muyan Linger. Now we need to find another black source. We <laughs> need to find. See, does that. Hmm. Well, here we can safely interplant a beacon, though. And bounce the war bows. Let's bounce the token. Ah, uh, I think we bounce the bows. Or the token. Nah, I think the token, actually. Ah. Uh. But the thing is, yeah, he needs to replay it, but we want him to flood the board so we can Kaius wrap him. <laughs> want to find a black source. If at all possible. Okay. Ah, this is, this is getting dangerous. Hmm. We need that black source this turn, I think. Else, <laughs> I think we're done. I mean, we could stall for time, I guess. Don't find black mana. Maybe I have. I have a lot of black sources. I suppose that's how I think I need meta. There it is. <laughs> there it is! A bit low. Oh, let's see. Clear up the board. And what does he follow this up with? Five of the manas. Vanquish's banner. Mm. Well, well, well. Could just put that away. But then again, I think we plus first. Who doesn't? It's very unlikely that he kills it. Keep up the pace. Keep up the pace. Sure. Uh, put down the glacial. On tap two. Sure. This that might have been a mistake to let this live, but now that we have Kaya's wrath, it doesn't matter too much if he floods the border because he just can just Kaya's wrath and minus Teferi on the Vanquish's banner, and then he probably draws into more lands. So. Yeah, we'll see. Five loyalty. Can you get through that? Banefire for four. Okay. Well, that means we can minus. What that means. We can plus first, though. It would be so we nice with a Teferi. <laughs> so, so nice. Uh, we can move Yon Ling and Narset. Probably do that. Yon Ling. Unfortunately, he can't give a Goblin Haste. If he has another one of those uh, Goblin dudes that he had before, it's might be a little bit dangerous. Oh, I should have led off with the Nars. I might want to play something else. Depending what I find there. Mm, I think Double Kai's Wrath can't be bad against this guy. Can't be bad. Well, let's see. If he hits a streak of Goblins here. A Volley Veteran. Okay. It does damage to target creature and opponent control equal to the number of goblins you control. Not to a creature, okay. Okay. Goes in for who? The fairy? Narset? The fairy, yep. That's a good choice. Probably quite a good choice, must say. Uh, I will not, will not complain about that. The right choice. And that guy we finally found out. Huh? Well, that's pretty amazing. Now we can cast Wrath. Maybe he comes in. Trust me, I have a plan. Uh, minus with you. Minus. <laughs> Talk to me. Uh, sure. This guy. Yeah, just keep up Kai's Wrath. We should be fine. Huh? Should be fine! <laughs> it's such a different thing playing a deck like this. Playing like a tier 1 deck compared to playing like tier 2 and tier 3. It's so much easier! <laughs> oh darn much easier. Yep. Yeah, that's Banker's banner essentially gives plus one plus one for five mana right now. It doesn't do much else. Yep. And uh, they be coming in, I guess. Is this? We on link. Narset. Yeah, Narset is a little bit tired of the draw cards from that. Cool. Last him. You knew we had the wrath anyway, so just had to play into it. Unfortunate for him. Got him! <laughs> I think this would be the last game. I think. I mean, I could continue. I could probably get the mythic with this, but I 
think this proves that this deck is pretty good. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Member shout out. Member shout out. <laughs> thank you everyone so much for watching and a special thank you to our list of members which i've uh, reordered a little bit so that the first member that became member first will be first and also a lot of you have changed your names so here is the list of members thank you so much for supporting the channel blue dragon owen 77 adam alexis ramen noodles for me <laughs> Clark Bush, Magic Pistolman, Simon Lauer, MTG Noob, Rodney Cox, Herman M, Agony Reborn, The Soft Pillow, Snick, Luria Stars, Michael Aglar, Shamanix, Spencer Ofsty, Carlos Martinez, Alex Michael, Laser Set the Stun, Eric0234, Jeff Henry, D Sil Fizzlepop, Ellie Curtis, Leaning Into It, Santa John, Michael Yu, Michael W, Pocky U, Matthias Porley, Toplets Investments, Cronus 1107, W Lutz 1978, Wokia Florent, Pete Rick, Peter Gohl, Yuki Monsky, Bora Raw, Strange Brontides, Sean Stevens, Gabriel Juvenal, Feed Lucentini, Tondex, Smog JC, Marcus Rutledge, uh, Tim Stokes, Wizar, Cude Lady 23, Brian Gutierrez, uh, and Amano84. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. You guys are amazing. If you also want to support the channel, become a dark disciple and rule the underworld, then check out the join button next to the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching, and see you next time.